We all love Premiere, don't we? It's complicated. I admit, I cheat every now and then. But if you could fix Premiere, what would you change? If I had a magic wand, this is what I would do. Number one, add a motion blur toggle. If you want to create a simple animation with motion blur, you must use the transform effect and increase the shutter angle. Well, let me show you something, Adobe. This is Photoshop, and I'm sure you're aware of that. I added this super cool button called motion blur. I'm sure it's not this simple to install, but come on, it's time you guys added this. Number two, Premiere's keyframes need an upgrade. Great. Sure, you can ask me, why don't you use After Effects? Well, if I'm not supposed to use keyframes in Premiere, then why the hell are they there? I do use After Effects for the most simple animations because I almost call this unusable. Let's say you want to create a simple zoom in animation like this. That's cool. Now, if we want to ease the keyframes to make them smoother, you can now do that by right clicking the keyframes and easing them like this. Now, you can also further tweak our velocity curves. And this is where a lot of issues appear. I need these two curves to be identical, but there's no way to do that. In After Effects, you can select all the properties and adjust the curves at once. In Premiere, not possible. That's why even for simple animations, I just use After Effects. Number three, the price. Let's say you need Premiere, just for editing videos. Well, prepare to pay $23 per month if you take the annual plan. If you wanna pay monthly, the price goes up to $35, which is crazy. I do not recommend this plan. Video editors usually need After Effects as well. That is if you don't wanna deal with Premiere's bucks. Well, then you're paying another $23 or $25, which brings up the price to $70 a month. That's 10 bucks more than the entire Creative Cloud annual plan, which by the way gives you all Adobe apps, except for Firefly Pro, that's another $30 a month. Maybe there are some hidden features in Premiere that I don't know about that might justify the price tag, but no. And yes, you can use DaVinci Resolve, and I do use the studio version a lot, but you just can't compare them to Creative Cloud. It's not the same. There's a reason why most editors and companies are still using Adobe. Now, that said, Resolve Basics is in the making, but it's still a few months away. Besides all this, there's one thing that really makes me happy when I'm editing, and that is the Storyblocks plugin. This is both for After Effects and Premiere, by the way. You can download unlimited stock assets without leaving Premiere. All you need to do is click the download button and boom, your clips will appear right in the project panel. From here, you can drag them into the timeline. Storyblocks, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high-quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, and images, you can download unlimited high-quality assets for one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to expensive paperclip pricing. Just imagine crashing your drone when you're trying to capture beautiful drone shots. Yeah, you should have used Storyblocks. You will enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks labeled music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. At the meantime, Storyblocks will fully protect you from copyright strikes, claims, and all that stuff. That way you can focus on what matters most and that's creating. Now besides that, you can save hours of your time with these pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash Premiere Basics, or just click the link down below in the description. Number four, Adobe, we need tracking. Just basic tracking. Imagine we had a tracking panel in Premiere Pro. It doesn't have to be advanced like After Effects, but man, it would be so cool if we could track some text to this finger without adjusting it manually. Number five, audio waveforms are still not showing up. Man, I already made videos about this years ago. Sometimes you just can't see the audio waveforms. If you zoom in, they might appear if you're lucky, but then once again, when you zoom out, they disappear again. I don't understand. And it's not about the generating peak files, by the way. Way. I don't know why this is happening. Number six, fonts. You open up your project and suddenly you see that all your text animations and captions have a different font, an ugly one. That's because sometimes Premiere can't find the font you've used because no ID. You can restart your entire PC and that will fix the issue. And then of course, we can't forget about the endless amount of crap it has improved a lot over the years, we, we, that's a fact. But it still happens far too often, especially with the dynamic links. Before ending this video, I want to say, besides all this, I love you Adobe. And I love Premiere. When I open up Premiere, it feels like coming home. And I don't want to lose my home. And that's why I make this video. Feel free to add your thoughts down below. And I'll see you in the next video.
Goodbye.